The FAA today released its proposed regulations for commercial drones. The government wants to make sure drones can safely share the skies with planes and helicopters. Here's Juliana Goldman. The proposed rules apply to commercial drones, opening the skies to crop monitoring, aerial photography, videography, and maybe someday package and pizza deliveries. The guidelines cover drones that weigh up to 55 pounds and require that they be only flown within sight during daylight hours below 500 feet and no faster than 100 miles per hour. Operators need to be at least 17 years old, pass an aeronautics test, and be vetted by the TSA. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox unveiled the regulations in a conference call Sunday morning. We have been working to develop a framework for the safe integration of this technology into our airspace. So-called hobbyist drones, like the one that accidentally crashed at the White House last month, are operated under a different set of guidelines, which have existed for years. Along with the new FAA rules, the White House wants agencies to set policies on the government's use of domestic drones, like those flying along the U.S.-Mexico border. The president wants guidelines spelled out for commercial and private drones around issues of privacy, accountability, and transparency. One trade group projects that by 2025, the industry will create more than 100,000 jobs with an economic impact of $82 billion. Brian Wynn is the president of the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. As people get used to the value and the benefits of these ideas, I think they'll become uh, more excited about the possibilities that this technology can, can be put to use for. It could take years before these rules are set, and industry representatives say it's also unclear how the president's memorandum issued on Sunday will impact the final rule. So, Jeff, don't expect to be getting that drone delivery anytime soon. Uh, I will not. Juliana Goldman, thank you very much from Washington.